The Burke Gilman Trail in Fremont is right next to the Ship Canal and is primarily used by cyclists and people taking walks. Absolutely unloading. Cars are not supposed to be there. They like their Subarus, apparently. And that's exactly why this neighbor... And then when I started filming his car, that's when he came and got in my face. ...decided to confront the people parked on the grass Thursday afternoon, spotted unloading all kinds of furniture. Please not fill my car, sir. I can do whatever Thank I want. Thank you. Thank you. I can do whatever I want. You can, and you can be a nice human being and leave me alone. This neighbor wants to remain anonymous, but says he's positive it was volunteers with Stop the Sweep Seattle. What are you doing with all this garbage over here? It's not garbage. We're spotted moving in a homeless couple along with all their belongings. More on that in a moment. The environment doesn't matter to you? The we people, the kids that want to use this park don't matter to we you? Agreement. Let's leave each other alone. Stop the Sweeps is a controversial mutual aid group known for shuttling homeless people to other parts of the city after encampment removals. The mutual aid and Stop the Sweeps are enabling them to do it. They've been criticized for disrupting sweeps and undercutting Mayor Bruce Harrell's plan to get people off the streets. Basically crystallized in my mind that this is not like a bed availability issue. This is um, a choice. Homeless advocate Bruce Drager says the vast majority of men and women living in Seattle's encampments are now rejecting shelter options because of what he calls poor conditions inside. Most humans do not want to be living in these shelters. Tiny houses and motel rooms are the most coveted, but Drager says there aren't enough and expects the homeless shuffle to continue. So far, the mayor and King County Regional Homelessness Authority have not responded to my request for comment on this issue. Because if we're going to sweep them here, they're already right now talking about the next park they're going to go to. It's unclear what happened to all the campers after the Capitol Hill sweep Thursday morning. Why not take the shelter and the services the city's offering right now? Uh, because we like just doing our own thing. But Mark Thorson and Jessica Martin just gonna have to find somewhere else to go. are the ones who ended up on Burke Gilman Trail in Fremont with the help of Stop the Sweeps. Bless their hearts. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have this. You know? The couple's now hunkered down at nearby Fremont Canal Park, adding to this growing encampment. I mean, I'd rather take my chance than go to those shelters. They're not run well. No, I'm getting your license plate, dude. During the confrontation, some homeowners called police because of all the commotion. Officers came out and moved everyone along. If you touch me, you're going to have a problem. Then back up. Neighbors say if Stop the Sweeps tries moving in more homeless people into their neck of the woods. They are actively shuffling all of this around the city. They're prepared to defend their community. I think it's just one of those things where it's like, if you don't, then what?